Martin here at the Valentino Beach in Mazatlan, Sinaloa. Supposedly Mazatlan, Sinaloa, which is actually New Jerusalem. And that first island over there is actually Gorilla's Mount. And Gorilla's Mount has a heart-shaped rock on the side that we're looking at right now. And the rock was just set there. It, it, it fall out of, out of no top, out of, out of top of that island. And that sec, that middle island is actually the Manta Ray Island. On the other side of this island, there's a Manta Ray in, like engraved or poured out of a rock, like a, like a volcanic eruption type pouring. And then there's also an island on that side, which is shaped like a bat, uh, basically like Batman, Batman's emblem. And that island has got a beautiful beach, real beautiful beach, crystal clear water, no waves, no currents, white sand, the best beach in the world. And here all the surfers come every every afternoon to catch the waves. And snorkelers come and snorkel in the rocks. And here's where the oyster divers come and dive for their oysters. Manaray Island is actually the island where where all the slaves that came out of Egypt had to come. When Jehovah Moses and all the kings came and got all the slaves out, they came had they couldn't get off the ships until they got to this island and here's where they were clean they were clean out of all their all their pests and and diseases and the people that weren't weren't able to come off of the island unfortunately they were they had to be slaughtered this place is holy what's up folks my name is Louis Terrell I'm the one that's been making all these videos I've been telling everybody about everything that I've been I've been seeing all my research that I've got out of the Bible, out of the First Testament, and that is Manoray Island, where all the slaves, where Moses and Jehovah and all the kings got us out of Egypt, got all the slaves out of Egypt, and look what's going on, there's, there's a bunch of racism going on at the border, everywhere, there's racism going on everywhere, and that's why the world is the way it is, Jehovah's very mad, he's angry, how people are segregated, you know, all, all the discrimination on the border. That, that 10, SB 1070 bill needs to be dropped ASAP as soon as possible and watch how things are going to change in this world. So everything started here, this new Jerusalem, and our Father's throne is over there at the lighthouse. Not, not only that, there's a lot more things going on at the lighthouse. That's why I've been trying to, trying to get my contacts together so I can get a team to come and take care of business. And that oil spill up in the Gulf, the Gulf of Mexico, there's only one way to get rid of that. You need three teams. You need a team to surround that with giant HEPA filters, with buoys on top, and plastic walls, and with giant, at the bottom of the, of the HEPA filters, the giant walls that are HEPA, HEPA filters, you need weights to support the filters in place. You need to surround that oil spill and gather it all up, clean that crap up. Or there's a, there's a hurricane or a natural disaster and there might be a hurricane of fire that's going to rise up. You guys need to think about what you guys are doing up there up north. All, all the laws need to be can't be bent. The laws that are made right now are being broken by the same government officials. So the laws are all screwed up. But, uh, and you got to look up my videos on YouTube. Descubrimiento, or you can go directly to Google and put Luis Alberto Terrell Guerrero and it's going to send you to my big four videos that I made and this is my fifth video. And I'm a retired land king of Maywood, Illinois. And I want all, all my brothers and folks to get together. You know what I'm saying? Call it peace street. War ain't the answer. It's just making things worse. We need to get together and we need to put together enterprises and make things better. All my niggas up, up doing that for, you know, I love, I love, I'm trying to get y'all niggas out because y'all ain't got nothing to lose, I ain't got nothing to lose, everything's being lost right now, everything's all screwed up, the drug trade, and it, it ain't, it ain't illegal, the drug business ain't illegal, it's actually, nobody puts a gun to your head and, 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 and forces you to buy drugs, but you got people putting guns to your head, taking your hard-earned money, 
doing stick ups, doing all crazy stuff. It brings more and more and more and more and more violence, more crime. So you guys need to control that drug trade. Maybe, maybe put some supported some cities and say, you know what, here's where you want to be, go ahead. Meanwhile, outside, we're going to be taking care of business, doing good things for the community, painting the town, cleaning the place up. There's plenty of work. I don't know why there's so much unemployment in the United States or here in Mexico. We got so much work to do. Man. This place is a shithole. We got a lot of damn work to do. Business, you know what I'm saying? So, unfortunately, we're going to have to face the